Senators aren't set to move into their posh new offices for another two years. And until they actually do, well, some lawmakers insist they will fight this deal until the bitter end. Under no circumstances should a budget authorizing this project be allowed to move forward. It may be a great sweetheart deal for the developer, but it is not in the best interest of the people of Michigan. Naming it the Capitol View Boondoggle, House Democrats pledged today that they'll fight to strip funding for new Senate offices in the upcoming state budget. As we've reported for months, the new building was pushed for by former Majority Leader Randy Richardville in the last months of his term. With $51 million committed to buy and refurbish the new building, it will cost taxpayers more than $134 million over 30 years of payments. Michigan faces budget deficits, underfunded schools, and a middle class that is squeezed from every side. There is no justification in this economic environment to spend $134 million on lavish Senate offices. The developer on the deal is Ron Bogey. He has showered Senate Republicans with donations through the years, but Senate staff say that played no role in why his bid was chosen over three others. Current Senate Majority Leader Arlen Meekoff has long supported the move to new offices, even while some of his fellow Republicans have not. My constituents heard about it and said we object to it, so I voted no. At today's press conference in Southfield, Democrats said that instead of paying for a new building, that $134 million could be better used, like hiring nearly 2,200 teachers. But is their opposition to the new building simply too little too late? Well, some state officials say that it is because the check for the new building has already been cut and its new owner is the Michigan Strategic Fund, an extension of state government. But Representative Grimal insists paying for the building can still be stopped because the deal isn't backed by the full faith and credit of the state of Michigan. You're convinced that this can still be stopped without harming the state? Well, I am. Statements made by the Michigan Strategic Fund itself suggest that if the legislature does not appropriate money to this, then the lease and bonds will be null and void, and the state will not lose out on any money. Uh, it will simply put an end to this project and save millions and millions of taxpayer dollars from being wasted. Now, Michael Shore from the Michigan Strategic Fund says that even though it is technically possible that lawmakers could vote to withhold the funds needed to pay for this deal, he says it is very, very, very remote that that would ever happen. In fact, Shore said it would be the first time it's ever happened in his decades at the state. Representative Grimal and others say there's a first time for everything. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.